In this video, we're going to explore how to set up expense groups, expense administrators, payment handlers, and other expense settings. We'll also cover how to put employees and managers into groups to allow them to submit and approve expenses. Start by clicking on your name, choosing settings, and then select expenses from the left-hand menu. The general settings are where you can set up expense groups, add expense administrators, and select who handles expense payouts. Before beginning, it is worth noting that only employees with administrator or expense administrator access can follow the next steps. And remember to click save to ensure you keep your changes. To set up an expense group, click on add group. Expense groups allow you to group employees and add expense managers to streamline the expense approval flow and you can create multiple expense groups. This step is crucial as for employees to have access to expenses, they need to be in an expense group. Once you've clicked add, you can name the group and you can also select the default currency for the expense group. You can then select the categories you want this group to be eligible for. We'll explore how to create more categories a little later. When you click Save, you'll be prompted to assign employees and managers to the group. You can choose to assign employees and managers to the group later by clicking Cancel, but remember, employees won't have access to expenses until they are assigned to an expense group. To assign them now, in the Managers tab, select the person or people who will be approving expenses for this group. You can use the Search or Filter option to make finding them a little bit easier. Once selected, you can do the same for the employees. You can navigate back to your expense group at any time and edit it to adjust the categories or click on eligibilities to add and remove managers and or employees. You can also delete an expense group. If you do delete a group with employees assigned to it, they are not assigned to other expense groups, they will automatically be assigned back to employees without expenses. On the general option page, you can give an employee expense administrator access. You also have the following global options. In other words, options that will apply to all of your expense groups. You can choose if expense payouts are to be handled by expense group managers or the expense administrators. You can also decide if attachments are mandatory when employees submit an expense request and if a VAT field must be shown for each expense claim. As we saw, when you create an expense group, there is a default list of categories for expenses. You can create additional categories or edit existing ones, which is done by clicking Categories from the Expense option in the Settings menu. From this page, you can view a list of your existing categories and you can edit them. You can also view which expense groups have any category assigned to them. To add a new category, click Add Category and name the category. If required, create an internal code. This field appears in an Excel export file and can be used for references to internal accounting codes. If you have created expense groups, you can select which groups you want to have access to this new category. Click Add. The new category will now be listed in alphabetical order on your categories page. Payment types is a way to allow an employee to accurately record how they pay for something when they add an expense. There are default payment types already in Sage HR, but you can edit these or create new ones. Click on Payment Types from the Expense option in the Settings menu. From here, you can view your existing payment types and you can edit or delete them. To add a new payment type, click Add Payment Type. Name the payment type and then click Add. Your payment type will now appear alphabetically in your list. Expenses in Sage HR already have a default set of fields for you to enter information in. If you require additional information not relevant to these existing fields, you can create custom fields for that additional information. These custom fields can then reflect this data on your custom reports. To add a custom field, click Custom Fields from the Expense option in the Settings menu, and then click Add Expenses Custom Field. 
So if we wanted to add a purchase order number to our expense form, we would give the custom field a name, choose a type for the field, and if required, add a description. This is what would appear when you hover over the question mark next to the custom field when you add an expense. Select a location. This will be Add Expense Form, as currently Sage HR only allows Add Expense Forms as the location where the input will show. Click Confirm to save this field. Your new field now shows under Expense Custom Fields, and the next time you add an expense, the custom field shows as a field someone can enter, and it also appears on your expense claim reports. From here, you can also edit or delete your custom fields. With your expenses set up, you can now start to use them.